Hi all. Someone asked me recently what my secret system is. I don't think there's any secret in chess. It's um, a long determination to try and get better of it. Better at it over a period of time, within your time constraints and within trying to you know, do your rest of your life. And most people can't make a living from chess. So really, um, I got into computers you know, later. But at primary school, I was into chess. So here's me, Trifon Gavriel. My friend, by the way, Alex Aphelontis. And we're still friendly today. and play for Barnet and Muswell Hill chess clubs. My teacher, Mrs. Hawkins, who used to be called Miss Knight, uh, so my teacher of maths and also, t you know, the, the chess club um, teacher. Um, so here's my chess focus CV, which I knocked up years ago. Um, and my primary openings used to be the King's Engine, Sveshnikov, Sicilian. I used to always play like D4 and E4 with the white pieces. So I have some favorite systems. I think some of these systems I got from Raymond, one of Raymond King's books um, and I modified some of the systems. I, I think I chose, for example, the Simish system against the King's Engine. Um, but I, I tried to get some attacking opening systems. I, and my BCF grading path was like this: um, one two seven, straight off; uh, one four seven, one six six, one seven seven, and it carried on. And I was always in the one nineties for years and years. So even in nineteen ninety eight, I was like one nine one, and I've been around that level for the last um, ten years. Uh, maybe I'm going to go up, so I'm currently at 188, and um, maybe I'll be in, again still below 200 next season. But I'm, I'm start, uh, this season started off well. But anyway, I, improvement in chess is, is is not guaranteed. Um, I think all you can do is, is try and play in strong tournaments, try and gain experience, try and create hypotheses for how you can improve your play as well. Try and learn concrete stuff like concrete opening theory, concrete end game knowledge. Um, my FIDO rating is separate from my ECF rating, so I achieved it from the British Major Open and the Lloyds Bet Masters, so two halves part ratings they were called. Lloyds Bet Masters, I defeated quite a few people to get my part rating there. Beat Marizenko 2370, Chris Duncan 2285, Marugan 2420, Drew Morizavi 2350. And anyway, so that was my, the important FIDO rating establishment, so that's separate from the ECF rating. So how I got started, really I was watching my brother play my dad and then I started playing against my dad and I started beating my dad and I started becoming very good at primary school and the openings were typically Goko Piano because I used to play that, very simple opening to start playing chess with. I say here, although boring is symmetrical, that's true, but it does demonstrate some, some key concepts, you know, control of the center, fast development. You know, what we can get at from looking at Morphe games or early games is, you know, simple principles, and then we can hope to refine our game to be more positional. It's Steinitz that started talking about pawn structure and weak squares and, you know, the advantages of the position. And, you know, maybe, you know, my own chess evolution is a reflection of, you know, some of the early schools of thought, how, how I started off with very simple principles, and then you try and elaborate on those principles. So as, as far as achievements in chess, I never became a titled player, as in FIDE titled, but now I have achieved recently the regional master title, which I didn't even know existed up until a few months ago. So if you have an ECF rating constantly over like 180 for like two consecutive seasons, then you can get a regional master title at least, so even if you don't get a FIDE title. So here are some of my achievements. North, Norfolk House, I had the BCF certificate merit levels one and two. I I had the inter school trophy in 1983. Um, in 1987 to 88, I started winning or doing well in tournaments. Hendon, junior winner, chess congress junior winner of, Ju of June 1987. The Wood Green Championship winner 1987 and 88 club championship. The Lightning champion 8788. I used to play a lot at Wood Green but then I moved to just just stick with it was too much for me. I was a member of several clubs at the same time. Barnet, Moswell Hill, Wood Green and you know it was just far too much. So I'm just Barnet and um and and, and Moswell Hill and I I played the occasional game for Drunken Knights but um, well I played one for them last season. But um yeah, you can play for different clubs as long as they're in different leagues. So I'm in a different league in for Barnet, you know, North Circular and Hearts League, and, and in, in Muswell Hill, the, the Middlesex League, and in the Drunken Knights, the London League. So the different leagues, you know, builds up, you know, your experience if you join a, your local chess club. So Westminster Grand Prix winner, 8788. So um, 
and then in 1989 I had a big cash prize win six out of six in the under 160 of, of the Calder Dial Chess Congress so that was an under ECF 160 I, I was the British Blitz major tournament winner first equal with nine and a half out of eleven in that same year and in the same year winning the Lloyds under 18 you know junior championship and the prize was given to me by Grandmaster John Nunn and um it was fantastic, you know. I beat some several 190 juniors. So Gareth Hasling in the first game, Paulson the second, Sam Foister. Then I drew with Michael Harris, who was the British under 18 champion. And then in the last round win, um, I came first equal with four and a half out of five. But tie break, I won from Michael Harris. So that was my first, you know, real, you know, achievement in chess. The, the Lloyd's Bank Junior under 18 champion. But my grading, as I say, remained constant after that. At about 180 to 190. 1993, I'd won the under 202. In 1997, my ICC Blitz rating had a peak rating at three minute chess. So my Blitz has always been strong, even in 1997. So I'd beat Ali Motazavi to step over the 2600 mark. So if you look at Finger King's Crusher on the ICC, you'll see I've been over 2600. Um, this is not the auto pairing rating, this is where you can seek particular op opponents. So I've said here years ago that the ICC is great for Blitz Chess, and I say that today. So nothing's changed in the last 10 years from my perception of Blitz. I enjoy Blitz. My first IM win was Danny Kopek um, in the December London Internationals. So here's the score. I've, I've done a video on it if you want to look up the Kopek win. It was a bit of a swing. It was crushing me. 1998, I came second at the Barnet Congress with a default. Um, I was late for the round. I think I was out drinking with someone and came, came out uh, too late. Uh, I had a BCF forms of 235 in that. Same year I did well in the, the, the Sutton. I had um, no losses. I drew with Basman with Black. I was actually beating him in the final position. Drew with Bates. I could have beaten him on time. I think he only had about a minute left. So it was a really good performance. But I never qualified for the British Championship. So back in 1998, even with that performance of 2 on 8, I think I was half away from half a point away from qualifying for the British Championship. So it was only like 10 years later that I qualified for the first time. And then the next then he qualified the year after. So I've played in British Championship now twice. And for me, that you know, that's that's a personal achievement to play in that prestigious tournament. Although it's some people argue that it's, it's not as strong as it was, but some people argue, well, because of technology, you know, people are able to prepare better now than ever before against opponents. And people are more on a level playing field, I think, because of technology. Um, so here was like playing in a British major open friends like um John Naylor and um this this um Blair Connell I think this is and I've forgotten this guy's name. Um but yeah there were some strong juniors, some of them you know became IMs later, some of them didn't. Here's my cat Fluffy. Um a recent good friend I've made uh from my site, Chessworld is is Annie Kay and she's she's a cat lover, so for cat lovers, you know, my cat's always been there and it's still alive today. So um so basically, um that's my chess C V in a nutshell. So there's no secret. Chess is a long period of perspiration. I've had a reasonable grade on the British grading scale for many, many years. I've had an a FIDO rating which I haven't really played that many FIDO rated events since the Lloyd Masters was was stopped years ago but it was a very convenient way of playing FIDO tournaments. Now this December we have a FIDO tournament as part of the London Classic which I want to play in next week. Um, maybe my FIDO will go down, it's about 2150 at the moment. If I ever reach 2300, that's 150 points, I'll become a FIDO in, um, master which is the minimum FIDO title you can you can get it's the, the easiest in theory but I don't know the 150 points seems very daunting to me um, so anyway that's my chess as I say I've always been interested in blitz chess though even from years ago um, so I've won a few blitz prizes recently as well this, this CV page really needs to be updated uh, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube thanks very much